As parts of Kentucky assess the damage from last week's historic storms, Governor Bashir warning residents to brace for more flooding. Still in the emergency response mode, still doing search and rescue. Weather today may complicate that, but there is severe storm potential today and all of the impacted areas. The death toll climbing to 30 and expected to rise as dozens remain missing. Among the dead, four siblings aged two to eight years old, the force of the current ripping the children from their parents' grip. Loved ones of the missing organizing search parties, including William Cook, who's looking for his brother-in-law. They want closure. You know, they know about what it is, but they just want closure. The National Guard rescuing at least a thousand people by air and boat this weekend alone. While on the ground, trained dogs pick up on even the smallest scent in hard to reach areas. There's human scent in the water because others have drowned and been pushed through the water. Mm -hmm. There's human scent over everything that was in a home. Governor Bashir estimating hundreds of millions of dollars in damage with homes and businesses washed away, hundreds now living in shelters. This is what we do in Kentucky. We take care of one another. The areas of eastern Kentucky where much of the flooding occurred is hilly and mountainous, making it more difficult for rescue crews to do their job. Governor Bashir saying it could take weeks to find all the victims. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.